And today is our last day, our last full day. It is not even 10.30 yet and we are about to go line up to go eat sushi <laughs> because you can't leave without eating sushi. Hmm, kawaii. We already have our spot in line. But it is insane how long the lineup is for sushi already. I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to take a video of the sign and then I realized there's no dude. <laughs> we waited an hour? Yeah, an hour. We <laughs> always go to the Sapporo location. So this is our first time here in the Kinawa. It's by far my most favorite kaijin sushi place. Yay! <laughs> Maguro-chan!
So if you ever want to come here, it is Kaiten Sushi Nemuro Hanamaru. It opens at 11 and it's on the 10th floor of Toki Plaza in Ginza. But it is extremely popular, so be prepared to wait or come here right at 11. Wow, I always saw. I just ate. <laughs> wow. This is the Muji flagship store, and they have a bakery inside as well. Look at all the veggies, they're so pretty. <laughs> wow, we should so. So, this Muji has a restaurant on the bottom floor, and then you go all the way up, and then on the sixth floor is the hotel. I think I'm gonna get this face cream because I've been looking for a cream for a while and I've tried the moisturizing milk before and I really like it and this one's for sensitive skin so I'm excited to try this out my brother wants us to bring back another diffuser but what kind should we get? green what? green I watch a lot of flight attendant YouTubes and one of them who I watch quite often uses this. It's a passport case, but it also has these like clear pockets and then pockets on this side as well. So I think for me, for work, it's gonna be really handy to have something like this to just put everything in one. And then when I was looking at it, my mom's like, yeah, and then you can just put your photo cards in here too. <laughs> I got the refill pack as well. It'll keep everything safe. I have officially lost my mom in Uniqlo. I don't know where she went. And the funny thing is that she literally looks like everybody. She just blends right in. I don't know where she is. Finally, I thought I lost you forever. Hi. <laughs> Surprisingly, we have spent the entire day in Ginza today. But they have the road closed off now, so it's nice. <laughs> mm. Oh, so cute.
こうこうこうこうこうこうこうこうこうこうこうこうこうこうこうこうこうこうこうこうこうこうこうこうこうこうこうこうこうこうこうこうこうこうこうこうこうこうこうこうこうこうこうこうこうこうこ I have my chimmy tea. Isn't he so cute? It's little things like this that I miss when I go home that I can't just buy at the store whenever I want. Anyways, we are going home tomorrow. Well, I hope. We're flying standby tomorrow. Um, and it's like, the flight is kind of full, but I really just hope we can just get on the flight and go home. And yeah, we had barbecue for dinner. It was so good. I haven't had barbecue for a while. It wasn't Korean style, but they had like Korean dishes as well as barbecue. So it was nice to see my cousin as well for the first time in like a few years. Actually this trip, I've been able to see quite a bit of my family, which has been really nice. My other family members live up in Hokkaido, but this trip is a bit too short. And since it's winter, we didn't really want to take the risk of going up to Hokkaido. And then in case the weather was really bad, not being able to come back down here. So that is an absolute must place to go for our next trip. <laughs> I kid you not, it's my favorite place. Sapporo is where I was born. That city will just always forever be my favorite. <laughs> so I really hope that in the near-ish future, I can make vlogs and share my favorite place with you. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna be ending the video here or if I'm gonna add on tomorrow as part of the vlog. But I feel like it's a little bit all over the place today. We did a lot of shopping in the Ginza area and then we went to Nakono for the first time, which is a very interesting place. If you really like like figurines and anime and manga and like collecting stuff, it's definitely a place to visit. I don't watch anime or read manga, but I can understand the like collector's <laughs> mentality and being a fan of something, I, I definitely understand it. So it was a very interesting place to go and the food was really good. So I guess if I'm not ending the video yet, future Maya will already know. <laughs> I will see you again tomorrow, so I'll just say goodnight for now. Good night. <laughs> Good morning! <laughs> we are headed over to the Imperial Palace today, which is a very touristy thing that I don't know if either of us have done before. Well, I've never been there, so we're just gonna walk over there now, get some breakfast, and then slowly make our way to the airport. Let's enjoy our last day. Let's go! My third one. If I drank one a day, I would have been able to drink all the members by now, but that's okay. You can already see it, it's right over there. It's Sunday, so it's very quiet. And it's such a blue sky today. Yay. The trees are so pretty and so well maintained. Masashige. A samurai regarded as a paragon of loyalty to the imperial family. Huh? Oh! <laughs> There's a whole family of birds up there. This is like a It's like Totoro. There's the palace. Oh, ducks. And then of course we can't see, but beyond those trees there is where the imperial palace, or the imperial family lives. Look at all those trees, like it's a pretty steep hill. And then you turn around. And it's just city. We were there on our first day. 
<laughs> and now we have come for a full circle. The Diet Building. <laughs> There's a famous Starbucks right here. That's right across the park. But it's Sunday, so it might be really busy, but if not, we'll try to get coffee here. And then the trees are kind of blocking it, but Tokyo Station's right over there. <laughs> On Google Maps, it said large fountain. I don't know if that's the actual name of it, but... There's the Starbucks. Wow, it's so pretty in here. Drink. Look at the little bears. So cute. We have the Kyoto one at home. The cups are so much prettier here. Yay. Matcha donut. Udon tea latte. Fondant choco. Almond milk latte. Matcha donut. So it's very pretty. Mmm. Matcha. Mmm. There's cream on the inside. So this Starbucks is a sustainable store. So they only offer tall size drinks in the to stay cups. You can request to get it in the plastic as well, but like by default it comes in this. Fun fact, I used to work at Starbucks for like five years. <laughs> so I have many stories about Starbucks. But honestly, Starbucks in Japan is like so much better and so much higher quality. I come to Starbucks when I'm here, but back home I never go to Starbucks anymore. The windows are super fogged up because the inside is so warm, so it's kind of hard to see outside, but... But the store is very, very pretty. But I would say that the reserve store in Nakameguro is the prettiest. The window is finally starting to defog. It's really pretty outside. Look at how organized even the trash is. I love that they have a garbage can just for liquids. I wish they had that when I used to work here. <laughs> it is a large fountain. <laughs> that was a very nice Starbucks. And that was a very good, the oolong uh, tea latte was really good. And then now we're gonna go to a bakery that my mom wants to go to and then we'll head back to the hotel and pick up our stuff and get on the train. God. Tokyo Station is just always so pretty. Look at the bus! It's got Dirakuma on it. It's so cute! This place is called Virong or Retro Door. I'm probably pronouncing both of them wrong. <laughs> but it's basically right beside Tokyo Station, so it is very easy to get to. There's quite a lineup inside. So I'm just waiting for my mom right now, but everything inside looked so good. Let's go. <laughs> I'm sure many people have made entire videos dedicated to this, but there's definitely a few ways to get from Tokyo to Narita Airport. Narita isn't in Tokyo, it is a bit farther out, so it does take a bit to get to the airport. Um, of course, there's like buses, taxi, it's probably quite expensive. And then there's trains, and so you can go on the, the local train. Then there's also the Narita Express, which is a bit more expensive. It's about like $30 or so, but you can reserve a seat and then it only takes like maybe an hour or so. So it is faster and more convenient if you definitely want to sit. So that's what we're taking today. I feel like maybe the Tiny Tan Georgia coffees are done now because I haven't seen them at all while I've been here. This is a Hamado. Hamado. Conte cheese. Conte cheese. Kishu. 
kitchen. And the butter croissant with acid butter. Mm. It's almost three now, I think. Yeah, it's almost three. So we're gonna have a late lunch. Hopefully we can have udon at the place that I had udon last time. But if it's too busy, then we'll probably just get something else. <laughs> ありがとうございます。わあ、どうしよう。何取った？エビとイカとナス。と the last supper. <laughs> We were just talking about how in airports food is always so overpriced and not very good. But like for the most basic bowl of udon, it's 500 yen. So like maybe five dollars for something that is actually worthwhile. So I find that Airports in Japan, in general, are very affordable. And also water isn't it, like ridiculously expensive because you can just buy it in the vending machine for, again, like $1.50 or so. So we're gonna go just walk around and do some shopping before we head into the gates. Let's go. These lettuce and ham sandwiches are so simple, but they're also so good. I love tuna mayo. So in Terminal 1, they have a Hokkaido store. It has a bunch of Hokkaido businesses and foods that you can buy. So, I mean, if you're in Narita Airport, definitely come check it out. I absolutely love anything from Hokkaido. Hokkaido is known for a lot of things like dairy and seafood and just everything is so good there. Oh, it makes me miss it. I want to hurry up and go. The Jimming influence has finally got to us as well. <laughs> We're both getting the lip glow oil. I've been wanting to try it for a while though, so. I haven't left yet, but I already miss it. <laughs> Does anyone else ever get that? Where you haven't even left the place yet, but you already miss it? Or is that just me? Hello, this is Maya from the future. <laughs> I'm sorry that I'm just like jumping right in all of a sudden, but I didn't make an outro video in the airport. Thank you for watching until the very end. If you like this video, please give it a like, subscribe, comment, let me know what parts you liked about it. Thanks for letting me share my adventure with you as well. I honestly post my vlogs and just did, don't expect anyone to watch them other than like maybe my mom. <laughs> um, what else do I want to say? Please let me know what kind of other videos you would like to see from me going forward. But yeah, anyways, I will see you in the next one real soon. Okay, bye!